for the serious gamer. What's going on, Next Gen Tactics? It's Guns for Hire here with a guns review of Transformers War for Cybertron Part 1 Single Player or Campaign Mode. Megatron must be stopped. That's my geeky attempt at. Actually, I uh, I don't have a, an Optimus Prime talking doll at all. Anyway, uh, you're going to see here quickly campaign multiplayer escalation. Escalation is kind of like the zombie mode for it. Didn't get to play it, uh, but again, it seems to be the new um, area of games that a lot of these these titles are sort of trying to explore because of the popularity of Nazi zombies in World at War. So we're going to go into campaign, of course, as you saw there as it went by. Standard thing, uh, difficulty level here. Here you get to start on either Autobot or Decepticon area, and I'm going to actually show quickly a little bit of both. And then uh, we're starting off with Decepticons, of course, who doesn't want to be a bad guy. And when I'm scrolling through this, my first thought is, why the hell wouldn't I be Megatron, the leader? So we're going to jump right into battle. One thing I'm going to say uh, is the transformation, like turning into the, the tank or whatever it is that he turns into him. Uh, you know, back in the day, it used to be actually a giant handgun or a cannon. Uh, so now it's a tank, whatever. Updates, you know, you know how it goes. Who's going to hold the giant handgun, right? But there's no real purpose. What I've discovered is, at least up to the point where I played, there's no purpose of transforming into the tank. It serves no purposes and it's so limited uh, in terms of what you can do with it. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think that it's a horribly designed game. Uh, no, I mean, the, the mechanics of it and how everything operates is actually uh, smooth and there's not a lot of glitches or problems. But I just find that the combat in it overly simplified. I really don't understand why there's so much praise on the game. It's not that it's a horrible game. It's just very, very simple. I mean, the combat system is, you know, blast, blast. There's no finesse. This is the extent of cover system is hiding behind blocks and stuff like that. Um, I mean, you shoot them with your cannon, you switch your weapon, shoot them with a different cannon, uh, switch, uh, transform into your uh, vehicle and shoot them with that weapon. But there's no real, like, hardcore finesse to it. It really is, you know, for a lack of better description, a button mashing kind of game. Um, and then, you you know, you do have different moments like this one here where you get to mount uh, mounted machine guns and blast them through. But, I mean, this has been done in other games. Nothing unique about this at all. Uh, I mean... First thing that comes to mind for me is uh, Killzone 2 when I played that. But I mean, you know, you get on it. Yeah, it's a, it's it's breaking up the monotony of the actual game where you get to mow down some people. Uh, but other than that, there's really not that much, you know, incredibly unique about the, the game itself. My biggest beef with it, uh, and you're going to notice this. I'm going to switch it over to uh, give you some Autobot footage as well. But first we're going to go to... Um, an end boss, okay? So this isn't like the final boss. This is just uh, like a level boss that you, you come across. And you'll notice that there really isn't that much to it. It's a button mashing. And this is why I say button mashing. It's not really button mashing, you know, like what you do in a combat type game. Like, uh, you know, Tekken or something like that. For those of you that don't... Uh, <laughs> have much skill in it but you can get away with some wins with button mashing this is all, all you're doing this is the the end guy not difficult by any means not even remotely difficult uh to defeat granted i'm not, not just normal difficulty but still even for normal difficulty there's nothing unique about these end bosses they're just shooting you you just all you have to do is avoid and then just keep blasting them and he dies so there's nothing unique about the, the boss character here i'm sure that it does get harder later on uh but other than that you know Come on, I mean, really, this is it. This is one of the end bosses. All I'm doing is blasting it. Very, very simple game. You know, for me, not impressed whatsoever uh, in terms of it. Again, you know, it's a beautiful game. It's really well done. Uh, you know, the, the mechanics of it are smooth, but it's just, it's overly simplified. It's, it's kind of boring for me. There's not much to it. It's a very linear game. The best way to describe this gameplay. And I thought, you know, maybe it'll be different. Maybe it's just the starting of the Decepticons, uh, and that's the way it is. You know, it's very linear and everything like that. But, you know, I went to the Autobots. Okay, so we defeated that guy. We're going to switch over. I'm going to show you uh, the Autobots, starting from the Autobots. And, of course, I choose Optimus Prime. I mean, I'm not going to be anyone else. I'm going to be the leader. So here's Optimus Prime. Smash, smash. You know, shoot, shoot. Almost die here. 
I'm surprised I didn't actually because look at him blinking. Anyway, same thing. It's very linear. You're very restricted in terms of where you can move. Yeah, I mean the worlds and the the, the levels look really big. I mean they make it look really large. But you know what? You're a freaking ginormous robot. So of course the worlds are going to be large and being large. But there's nothing in them. There's no like rooms to going exploring. It's just wide open spaces everywhere and they just guide you through everything very linear very one-dimensional not requiring a lot of finesse either and i believe is this another end guy so this is a, an end level boss from the autobot side and look it's a guy with a shield and you have to blast him feel a little familiar yeah exactly the same as, uh, as starting the other one there was nothing unique about it, it was a different path different uh you know autobot or whatever but or transformer or whatever not autobot transformer you know decepticons autobots whatever um but you're doing the same thing you just blast them blast them blast them nothing unique about this end boss everything i played was very linear very sort of one-dimensional again nice game but i'm sorry i just don't see the praise of it i'm not impressed with it as a matter of fact i had no urge to finish the game and uh, quite frankly, I would not uh, recommend, definitely don't recommend uh, buying it. There's no point in that. I mean, you're going to go through this really, really fast. And I'm not a big fan of the multiplayer either. But the, uh, and besides the fact that I get my butt kicked in, and I suck really bad at the multiplayer. But I didn't even want to try and get better. Like, it was just, there was nothing to it. And look, it's a mounted machine gun shoot them down scene. Again, a little familiar? Yes. So they're just repeating. It's almost like they got lazy or something. But you know what? This is way too one-dimensional. I wouldn't even actually uh, rent it. If I saw this sort of game and I saw, like, say, a buddy was playing it at my house, there was no way that I would go not... I would never buy it. And I would probably not rent it because I would just find it way too boring and there's way more other games out there that I would rather try and play rather than this game here. Uh, so I'm sorry, but, I, you know, I can't, I can't give it a thumbs up. I know a lot of people are like... Oh, it's very underrated. I think it's actually very overrated. You know, I see uh, places like IGN giving it 9 out of 10, and uh, GameStop, I think, gives it a high rating as well. A lot of places giving it a high rating. And you know what? I don't get it. I just, I really don't get it. I mean, like I said, they're if they're basing it on how pretty it looks, yeah, fine, great, but there's no challenge to this game. I wasn't really impressed. Anyway, stay tuned for the uh, multiplayer and uh, you'll see that I'm not really impressed with that either. Anyway, I'm Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics.